Very We're in. That. We're in. Terry We're Pierce in. is starting recording. Hey. Yeah, we, 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 we might need to just address that quickly. I'm not Terry Pierce. Uh, it's my brother-in-law's Zoom oh. account. So, Simon oh, Hills. okay. So, oh. So, oh. So, oh. So, Simon Hills. I thought Hills. you had a twin. Yeah. <laughs> I look nothing like him to me, but. But to be fair, we've also got Alistair Harper on the call. I don't know if you know. Yeah, I just got a video call from Alistair Harper. I was like, you're right, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I would try a, a Scottish accent, but I can't. So. <laughs> yeah, um, I'll try it, but no, I'm not Irish. So, so I guess. How long is the hair, bro? How long is the oh, hair? Mate. It's not even so much the hair. It's just so, mate, no, honestly. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Nah. <laughs> nah, it's not happening. It's just not happening. happening. It's just so rough. I just feel so rough. So I guess we got to like, uh, just address the fact that we're not doing a podcast this week, right? It's just a, a webcam instead. For forward. obvious reasons. Mm. As you oh, saying that, you saying that. Wait, wait. So I hit record or what? Yeah. Please <laughs> <laughs> request <laughs> record permission yeah. from the meeting host. Tobias lag, isn't it? Lag. <laughs> lag. Oh, you know sorry. No, it says. Oh, hold on. It says you know record permission from the host. Well, look, I'm recording it, so I'm just going to make sure that I don't delete the recording. To be honest, with you, if I was recording it, it would actually capture exactly the same stuff. It's not like yeah. angle, it's, it's just a back. Yeah, you got a better angle than I have. That's what it is. <laughs> um, what's going on with the podcast one? Do we know? Oh, Session right. one. Uh, it's on our podcast platforms. But I don't know how to do uh, Spotify or iTunes. They said they're review, reviewing it, but I haven't heard from them since. So Fair I enough. I don't, know how, I don't know how to do anything. I don't know how to contact them, or I don't, I don't know. I'm just stuck. Yeah, it's going to be on a back burner with the, in, in the current climate, I suppose, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. God knows what happens to that. But there you go. It's uh, the open house webcam slash podcast session hey. two. That's it. No one's heard number one yet, but number two is ready, <laughs> ready to go. Be out for number can, one. Bigger and better. They can download what it all. The first one look like. yeah. They can yeah. download it all at one time from Netflix. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Give them something to do in isolation. That's right. Binge. Oh, they can that's binge. It. It's out there somewhere. Whoever finds it gets a prize. Yeah. Isn't it? Isn't it? We need yeah. some tech savvy guys, don't we, innit? Yeah, I mean, it's what? a good thing that's not our business model, right? Like, we're not creating uh, much positive, uh, much um, interest if we're going to be doing IT stuff, so. Are we giving the tech? <laughs> Keep it property. Yeah. Keep it property. Uh, should, we, should we talk about this week? Corona. How's, how's isolation. Been, huh? How's it been? Yeah. Do you know what? Different, all right, but different. It's yeah. the, for me, well, for all of you, like we all work from home anyway. So working from home hasn't been the struggle. The only struggle or, or, or difference for me is just having the baby running around and, and the missus at home on the computer as well. Mate, there's four of us in a two bed right now. Like, this is dreadful times. How are you finding it? How are you finding it? Tell us about it. Tell us about your week. Tell us about your week. Oh, well, I've, I've decided to come home and be with, with the fam and that, but there's, um, there's four of us in a two bed. And um, I'm sofa surfing, which is great. Getting much wow. Done. Yeah. Getting much done. Hard time. Can you not escape to your own flat when you need to? Um, so my flat's under Airbnb right now. So that's all. Yeah. So for the time being, this is the only place I could be. I'd much rather be at mine, but, you know, it's... Uh, see how I tried to big myself up and make me sound like I came here by choice, but... <laughs> you, you, you were trying to make money, so you know that. That's it, yeah. yeah exactly. Just expose me, man. Cheers, mate. <laughs> but yeah, that's what it is anyway. Um, yes, it's uh, it's been it's been tricky. My my week um, it's just been hard, like in terms of like meeting with people and things like that. Obviously, we can't, so it's all digital now. But saying that, the day before the lockdown, I remember speaking with you guys about our chance there, and I, I left the I left my flat to go and take photos of a property. I'm just waiting for terms of business to be signed and that, but um, I've got photos and videos, so it is something that you know not all is lost at this point in time. But it's going to be tricky, like having to say this is all I've got. Um, the video is all I've got in terms of like viewing capabilities, but you know it's a, it's a, it's a it's a studio property so we're, we're well set up for it i think we're well yeah. set up for this for yeah. this moment in time i think yeah. if anyone's gonna do everything they can and survive at this time it's, it's us lot at, at you know part of keller williams 
being yeah. able to work from home like we usually do, commute with a local community, uh, communicate with a local community like we usually do. Just yeah. it's going to be harder, but we're we're set up to do it. What about you, Chuck? Um, similar. I mean, I came I came over to my mum's as well, so that she wasn't on her own. So there's you, Tobias, you're you're more than happy to come over. There's space, brother. Yeah, you know you, I mean? so all right, cool. Four bed, four bed how? But um. <laughs> He'll charge you rent. Like, he'll charge. He'll charge. Yeah. Nah, nah, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not like that. I'm not like that. But it's it is interesting though, like you say, because obviously it doesn't really change much from a for us, Ke- you know, from a Keller Williams perspective, because that's what we're used to doing. We're used to being independent. And um, what what, in, what is interesting is that how many people kind of didn't really know enough about what I did. Um, this this has really given me an opportunity to sort of like speak to my mates, mm. you know, and friends that I haven't spoken to for a little while properly. Mm. Some of these WhatsApp groups now, I mean, they're like forty odd people strong. So in, in itself, that's a community in itself. Mm. Um, so really, the communication that you've been able to have with people within my world, this has really kind of changed things from that perspective. You know what I mean? Right. Do you, know, do you know what? Actually, you, we didn't touch upon that in the first session, like Keller Williams, what it is, like what what we actually do. Do you want to? Do you want to like just give a rundown, like exactly what it is that we do, why why we're well placed at the moment? Well, I suppose. I mean, you know, the biggest difference for for us, uh, uh, you know, you know, being a Keller Williams agent or, or partner with Keller Williams, it's about you know getting in touch with your sphere, you know, your people in your world, and 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 being able to help them. I suppose that's the biggest difference between that and a high street agent. That's what I've actually sort of like really realized, you know, over this last, well, over this last few months, it's about helping people and being able to, to rely on people in your sphere and help them out. Um, and, you know, if you think about the high street agent, you're waiting for people to come to you, you're waiting for people to come to you, but being able to reach out to your, to your, to your friends, to your family and asking them, do they know someone? That really, if you if you get that nailed on as a Keller Williams agent, everything else takes care of itself. Um, and actually, so we you know we talked about door knocking and canvassing, and that's great. Those are the quick wins. But actually, if you get sort of like the sphere right, then everything else that it will actually make sort of like door knocking and that quite redundant, won't it? If you think about it, you'll only re- you'll only do door knocking to supplement, but the, the the main part of your 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 work and your your referrals will be coming from your sphere. And that's what I've realized certainly a lot more over these last few days because there's so many and equally I didn't know what people were doing within it within my WhatsApp groups, my friends. I didn't know what they were doing for work. And so we found a lot of bouncing back off each other. Oh really I didn't know you did that. Oh wow. So that's yeah. definitely been a big eye opener, a huge eye opener. I don't know if you guys have had that, but for me, it's been a huge eye opener. What sort of chats are you saying? What's, what's, what's coming up in the conversation? How are you put? Well, you know, what one of the big things is about. I didn't realize how many people are self-employed. That's that's one of the big things. So actually, you know, I'm talking about oh, you know, referrals, but equally, there's people. You know, you've got people who do tanning in my group. It's all I do. You know, work. Mass art, you know, self-employed uh, monsieur, uh, tanning, and all of these people, for example, they're they're struggling. They can't get out as well. So you know, they're worried. So you know, in one of the groups is about people are posting in the groups what they do, and then so everyone has to post what they do, and then find out ways that they can help help yeah, each other. So yeah. Yeah. all of that straight away, you've already got people saying, as soon as it's lifted, we're all going to go and meet up in this bar and let's have a chat. So that would never have come without this lockdown um this kind of opportunity yeah so i you know what i'm not saying i'm grateful for this because you know what this scenario is a scenario that you, you know, wouldn't have wanted but you know i've heard a lot of people saying that you know how you come out of this actually will be quite different yeah, in a positive way um but yeah I, so the, i agree with that yeah I, I agree i think it's kind of what we me and josh were talking about this yesterday but it was you know what you do now is going to impact you when you do come out of this. So, you know, don't let it defeat you now. Don't don't give up now. Don't wait for it to be over. Do, do everything you can for yourself now to, to help your community and, you know, be top of mind when this all finishes because people still need help. And as long as you're there, you're, you're going to be there. You're, you're going to be there every day, every night for anyone that needs it, right? So continue to do that. And when this turns, you're going to be, you're going to be the go-to man for your area, right? Yeah, so what's going to be interesting is how... We're going to come out of it in terms of community. Everyone seems to be getting together a lot more. We did the clap last night. Everyone was out cheering. 
for people. Yeah. That I'm with, oh, it's existed, right? It's, it's normally really quiet. Everyone's at work. Um, everyone comes back. We don't see it, see each other. So that's quite nice. But pollution levels in the city have dropped by like half or something. I saw that. Um, yeah. Yeah. No smog or anything like that. So will that change people's attitude to work? Can you work from home more? Um, is that going to help like relieve stress to people? Um, bits and bits like that is going to change quite a lot of attitudes, I suppose. And then what? with us, it's given us an opportunity to speak to people within the community, not about selling the house, but about helping everyone. Yeah. Um, I see. Elements of this thing is just connecting with people and speaking with them and finding out, like, like you said earlier on, talk about what they do. Do you know what I mean? I got a call from an auntie I haven't spoken to for ages because my mum mentioned it to her and she reached out to me and told me about property that she's got on for sale. Do you know what I mean? So it's it's it, it's crazy. Like there's opportunities everywhere. Like just touching base. Yeah. With people, like, you, you know, not on your everyday list. Uh, mm-hmm. It's good. And um, I got a phone call from a friend of mine um, last week and he said, you know what? Since this has kind of kicked in, this uh, this lockdown, every day I try and call one person at least. Yeah, and yeah. Today you are my phone call, and it proper touched me. Do you know? Like, I, yeah. I, I had one last like, yesterday. Like, was it? From, it was really nice. It was really so I've nice. Got, I've got an auntie who lives in Cornwall who is, I say, like he's eighty odd. Um, lives by herself. Doesn't really have friends and family. So I called her. Um, had a little chat, etc. Didn't think of anything of it, but then she spoke to my nan the day the day after and said, yeah, she. Flooded, was in floods of tears. The fact that we oh, called her is cute. Well, didn't, yeah. think, didn't expect it to have such an effect, right? But she's stuck at home doing the gardening. So that's it. Yeah. Now is the time. I think, I think that's quite important, actually, when you're having the, you know, sometimes they don't even actually start off as property conversations and they shouldn't in this time. Do you know what I mean? That's, you know, that's why I talk about the sort like the family and friends. And then obviously the community comes off the back of that. But, you know, you know if you talk about, you know, Keller Williams always talk about the family and I suppose that is important sometimes you, you lose sight of that and I think it's you know this 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 virus this this situation has actually has pushed people together in terms of family and friends and brings, brings the good out brings the good out in people right I haven't spoken to my Which, family and friends so much yeah like, a- absolutely a- absolutely Absolutely. My sister, I've spoken to her, I speak to her three times a day. You know, sometimes I'll go, <laughs> go to like one once in three weeks. Yeah. And so, you, you know, sometimes you've got to look closer to home. Forget about the work things that come up, you know, just remembers, it just reminds you of what's really important. Yeah. Well, you, you went out, you went, did, did some shopping for your neighbour, right? You did all of that. Mate, I've done, I've done shopping for about four or five people on the road now. Um, <laughs> and... The, the thing is, I mean, at first, you know, at, I'll be honest with you, when I first did it, I was thinking, oh, what can I get off the back of it? You know, I, I'll be honest. With you. But seriously, you know, it is, you just see that I walk down the road now and people are saying hi. You know, and you just, it just, there's a sense of camaraderie now that, you know, didn't happen, didn't, didn't you know, it wasn't evident before. Um, and you just see kind of people pulling together. You know, you'll go around, you know, you'll go down the road and you'll help someone. As I'm walking down the road, someone says, Are you going down to the Tesco? So there's a Tesco Express at the bottom of the road. Could you bring this back up for me as well whilst you're going? No problem. Do you know what I mean? What do you want? Some bread? It's, 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 you're seeing that. And I suppose these people, they talk about it, this is what it was like, sort of like, you know, sort of like wartime, sort of like that camaraderie in the community. And we've never had that, have we? You know, for generations, we, we've not seen that. But we're seeing no, it now. No, it's brand new territory for all, all, all of us, right, isn't it? Yeah, I've got it's a it's nice, it? kind of pulled a lot of people apart, but in times like this, it also helps. It also works in bringing people together. You know? What about what about if we like make it a little bit more micro? So obviously, with, with regards to like the property side of things, like how have you found it this week? with people asking you questions about the market or have you been able to help anyone? You know, is it business stops or is it business not as usual, but business carries on? Uh, I, I, I mean, I wouldn't say it's business carries on in terms from that perspective, but I've certainly had, I mean, I remember, you know, working in the sort of like 2008, 2007, 2008, 2009, and obviously it wasn't a pandemic there, but it was certainly a scenario when the property market was seriously affected. So, you know, you've got people who are thinking what's going to happen. They've just bought, you know, someone just bought in January and they're like, Oh my God, I'm going to go into negative equity. What's going to happen? And I said, you know, the one thing first and foremost, I always say to people is about, if you're buying a home, if you're buying a property as a home, you know, you're in it for the long, you're in it for the long run. 
no one knows what's going to happen when we come out of it but if you look back at sort of like 2007 2008 you know the market 